Oh, yeah. My name's Veronica. I write for the Sunday Independent. Can I ask you some questions? Do you mind? How, uh, how much do you pay for one of those? A few quid. Anyway, it's cheaper to rent someone else's needle. What about the score? First one's free. Well, I heard five pounds. Where'd you, uh, where'd you get the cash for all this? Let me just say to some board like you. Give me your money or I'll inject you with AIDS. How old are you? What's it to you? I'm writing a piece for the paper. I want to know where you get the gear. I'll do your work for you. Come back when you got some money. Check out later, right? Right. Lost, are we? Who might you be? Neighborhood watch. Yeah, well, better keep an eye out. Here there's some dodgy scangers about. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, don't know. Right. Mr. Gilligan. I'm Veronica Guerin from the Sunday Independent. I'd like to ask some questions about your property ownership, including this lovely equestrian centre you've got here. You could start by telling me where you get the money. Mm. 
You ready to go home? Yeah. You want to try and drop that? Oh, Look, it's up to you, Ronnie. But if you do press charges, writing the story might prejudice the case. I know you just want to steal it. Of course I do. I'm a reporter. So what's it to be then, Veronica? Do you want the story or do you want to press charges? in the country. He's with your sister. He's safe. It was him. What? Oh, you can never have gone there. Oh, dear. I'm so scared. It's okay. I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. It's going to be all right. I want you to promise me something. What? I was like this. What? All right? I don't want to have it. All right. That's what they want more than anything. All right. I don't want them to have it. I promise you. All right? You were never afraid. All right. Oh, jeez. Never afraid. Jesus, Veronica, look at you. Hi, Liv. How are you, John? It's, um, been a while. Grant, get you a drink? No, thanks. Not thirsty. So, what you want to talk about? I have a message for you from John Gilligan. The man you don't know. As soon as I heard, I went to see him. I told him he'd got it all wrong. He's a small man with a chip, you know. He's got a temper. He just lost his head. Anyway, he wants you to know that he's sorry for what he'd done. And for what he said about your kid and the family. He'd never do those things. He wishes he could take it back. Gilligan got you to feed me that shite about Hutch. Yeah, he murdered Kyle. Step back and let the IRA take uh, credit. I don't know what you're talking about. Look, I'm here because he wants this to end before things get any worse. How can it get any worse? Things can always get worse, Veronica. Now, if you don't press charges... A hundred thousand pounds richer within an hour. It's not enough. I went three hundred. Mm. I think I could get you that. Nice. Now you tell Gilligan that he's not going to be buying me off. Nobody's trying to buy you off. A man just wants to be fair, that's all. 
Even if he's convicted, I'll get his six months. Right, well, if he's not so worried, why is he prepared to pay so much? You know, why did he bother sending him a messenger? You're not the coach at all, are you, Johnny? You're the ball boy. What are you doing? Talking to her like this. The way you did. What the fuck are you doing here? Get out of here. He sent that man to shoot you. That's a load of bollocks. What the listen to this junkie slag? It's true. He, he said the man was supposed to shoot you in the head. He was supposed to kill you, but the gun didn't work. Veronica! <laughs>